Welcome to the biggest show in the world, Sports Betters TV. You are listening to the biggest show in the world on a beautiful Friday morning. What's going on, people? How are you feeling today on this beautiful Freaky Fridays? I'm sitting here talking to my boy, the Dream Kid. I'm amped to see these photos today. What's up? Oh, man, you know what, dude? I just realized all we got is baseball. <laughs> Baseball's been pretty good, man. It's uh, been pretty good. Ah, uh, man. Come on, <laughs> son. No, you know what? <laughs> Don't even try it, man. Oh, man, I've been feeling it, kid. Feeling it. Looking pretty good out there. You know what I'm saying, kid? Nah, I'm just messing around with y'all. Y'all know how I do a baseball. I love it. <laughs> Get ready for football season as well, brother. Get ready for definitely. them Cowboys. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Oh, Cowboys, well, hey, y'all got a lot to make happen between now and uh, week one. <laughs> uh, definitely, man. But I'm um, looking forward to it, guys. We are on Freaky Fridays today. Looking forward to seeing all the beautiful photos. Let's see who the winner is today. Use the hashtag SBTVNation. Send us all the sexiest photos you got. We'll see who the winner is. Last week, we had Boston Boy come out. Uh, the week before that, we had my man Immaculate. And then the week before that, we had Zay. This is week number four. And guess who's coming to town? My boy Crush the Bookie. Can't wait to get his ass on here to rock it, bro. No doubt. Definitely going to be a good look with him coming through. Um, uh, as we always love to hear his crazy, his craziness <laughs> and badness. So it should be a lot of fun this morning talking with him. Oh, definitely, man. So uh, we got a lot of people uh, retweeting the show today. Can you go through those, please, for me? I sure can. On the retweet tip, we've got 22 retweets already. We got my man Jay Cass, Week Money, uh, Money Line Hunter, Cousin Pete's out there already, Mitch Holiday's out there, the First Lady's already out there, Postal Pete's out there, uh, Fake Fam is out there, Pete for Prez, Jordy Best, Irvin, Larry Jocko, Papa Bear, Lou Dog. Soccer's finest, crush the bookie himself, Tip Talker, Direct Sports Solution, Benjamin Rowe, Sirac King, Jay Nicholas, Jay, and my man Kid Picks. What's up? Oh, uh, definitely, man. So I'm uh, feeling pretty good, dude. Um, you know, I ended up uh, I took two plays. They're both plus money plays. I did a um I did a parlay with Pittsburgh and the Dodgers. Kid, the Dodgers, man, what a stomach ache that was, kid. It was um nothing to nothing in the bottom of the ninth inning. One of those uh, premier exciting baseball games that you love. <laughs> Not that you don't love them all, but um, bottom of the ninth, kid, I get a runner on third, two outs. My man starts stealing home, and the pitcher balks, and we get the we get the uh, winning run on a balk, dude. I haven't that seen a walk. I haven't seen, I haven't seen a walk off balk in like forever. <laughs> that, that, that sounds exciting. <laughs> that sounds like the ump just said it just had enough. <laughs> it said okay. We're all done with this game. <laughs> oh, I, I I don't remember the last time I've seen a walk-off balk in a baseball game, guys. When was the last time that has happened? But I tell you, man, that was a t- – dude, nothing to nothing. I'm like, oh. Just, just the ideas of no hitter and a balk. <laughs> <laughs> you you got to have the, – Just the concepts of that kind of puts an emphasis on why I kind of – fall back with baseball <laughs> <laughs> i mean so so uh yeah so the pitcher just kind of flinched a little bit and um called it and uh said all right you're coming home baby so uh brought him home and uh it wasn't because you know what it's it's crazy too like when that happens when you win the game like that it's not they don't even come up you know they don't even come running out jumping up and down they were just kind of walking out like hey congratulations <laughs> you know whatever that was dusty we know but we won <laughs> but uh i'll tell you <laughs> <laughs> you know, usually when they get the, uh, the the base hit, you know, and the guy scores and they all come out, you know, jumping up and down and stuff like that. They just came out kind of like, you know, jumping a little bit and high-fiving, man. It was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so it was definitely, definitely one of the most boring games that, uh, you know, I've been involved in in quite some time. But, hey, I was happy to cash that, man. It was plus 143 on the parlay. And, uh, you know, hey, it is what it is. I had Pittsburgh on the run line. They could not get it done as far as uh, they won by one run. So I should have probably did the minus one dream but it yes, didn't sir. but hey it is what it is man and it's in the rear view mirror and uh you know it's a little bit of a profitable day so i can't complain about that when you win you know you guys out there with that run line man buy it down to one lose the one and a half so at least you can get the push yeah. you know what i mean i've, I've always recommended that um i don't i, I mean personally i would Ooh. i don't do run lines i just i'm going money line i mean i money line regular spread so you think i'm not gonna money line 
baseball. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, we already got some photos coming up, man. I got Jordy Best sent something nice. What's going on, man? Guys, we are using the hashtag SBTV Nation for all these. So definitely get them out to us, and uh, we will see what we got going on, man. So uh, looking at this Total Sports Edge, whoa. Nice, kid. What's going on, man? Uh, dude, you see, uh, let's see. Nine Horse Hayden is on there as well. We got a lot of stuff popping. Dream uh, ready to rock. Crush the book. He's going to be calling at about 20 past the hour, so I can't wait to get him on. That's about 13 minutes from now. So, so what you got going on, man? How was your day yesterday, player? Hey, yesterday was uneventful. The first uneventful day I've had in a minute. Um, I was able to get, you know, just do some stuff around the house, get some things done, catch up on some of uh, uh, paperwork and all kinds of nonsense that I got going on. So it was just an uneventful day. I didn't really dabble with the sports yesterday, took a day off. You know, me and Mama, um, my, my son did have another little league game as the last game is coming, thank God, Sunday. <laughs> so we did that um, and uh, actually went to a really nice spot out out, out here. Um, and, and that turned out to be nice. Um, where he played his game at was a really nice spot on a lake. Um, and we were hung out there a little bit after the game, and that just had a good time with the fam. That's about it. Oh, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. So, guys, going back to uh, the diamond real quick, man. I mean, there was a lot of, um, you know, there's been a lot of good stuff going on, man. So, I'm, you know, I'm, what's crazy is that this Pittsburgh Pirates team, dude, they have won 21 games out of the last 26, right? But they've only gained three games on St. Lucia in that in that time frame. Can you believe that? Wow. Unbelievable stuff there, man. It's, it's just crazy. I'm looking at it right now. And, uh, you know, I know we got some soccer going on too, man. Maybe Crush the Bookie will get into some soccer with us. But, you know, just recapping, kid, the Phillies won. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Phillies finally got the job done, man. So, you know, congratulations to them to stop the bleeding. They are two, 22 games under 500 right now. Uh, the Cardinals did fall yesterday. I'm sorry. The Pittsburgh Pirates have gained four games on them. Uh, but the Twins, man, they beat them 2-1. to one. Uh, The Astros, kid, my boy Notorious Dub V told us to take the team total on the Astros. And uh, that hit uh, over 5.5. I want to say it was 5 or 5.5. They scored eight runs yesterday and beat the Rockies. Um, you know, looking at the Padres, they, they beat up on the Angels on the um, – on the athletics, rather. Uh, the Angels beat up on the D-backs 7-1. So I expect the D-backs to uh, come back strong at some point here. Looks like we're going to start a bunch of new series today, brother. Oh, thank God. Maybe I can get involved <laughs> in my series plays now. Your series plays would have been dope. Yeah, I know. Ah, uh, it's too bad, kid. You would have hit them both. That's how it works, though. Uh, it it's is. No big deal. I ain't crying. And over spilt milk. It's all all good. Uh, definitely, guys. Uh, we we are here right now. We did not do question and answer for us yesterday, but maybe we'll do a question and answer for us today. Any questions you got for the biggest show in the world and or crush the bookie? Let us know, man, because I'd definitely like to hear what you guys got to say. Uh, we also had the uh, the Stanks kid come out, and remember I told you the over in this game? I wish I played it, man. I didn't play it. Nine to four. Um, looking at the, uh, the the Nasties got beat. They're only one game over 500 now, man. My future's not looking so good with the Nasties. Damn. I don't know why you wanted to mess with the Nasties. <laughs> well, they are the uh, they are the odds-on favorite to win the uh, the World Series at this point. Them and the Dodgers. But I got news for you, oh, man. The nat, the nat, I'm sorry, the nat, you know what? I was thinking you were talking about the stakes. My bad, the nasties. Yeah, yeah, dude, it's early still. Tony, relax. Son. I get it. I know. I mean, Are you, so... you forget what happened last year? <laughs> With the I mean, uh, K Sizzle year, run? I, know, you know, it, I mean, K Sizzle, you know, so, and even, even um, the Giants, they look like their season was over, dude. Like like in July, the Giants, you thought they were, they were a wrap. And out of no, they won the World Series. You can't. It's still way too early to get to start. You know, doubting that. Oh, I get you. I get you. Especially being in the NL East. Right. I mean, who's there? <laughs> you got the you got the Marlins. You got the Braves. You got the Mets and um, the Phillies. <laughs> so what? You know what? As a matter of fact, we should probably start piling up some money on a bunch of those teams because their their odds are like crazy to win the whole thing. One of them's going to get in there. And that's the same thing with the AL East. We got to kind of keep that in the back of our brains and look at it. So um, we'll go from there, man. But the Blue Jays, uh, big ups to them on that. Uh, the Red Sox over the Braves. Kid, I, you know what? The line movement, I guess, worked out yesterday with that. 
Yes, sir. I, I could not believe that Shelby Miller was an underdog yesterday. So I didn't end up playing it, man. I was looking at it, and I just it's it's fishy, dude. When the Red Sox being as bad as they are, are favored, you got to kind of scratch your head on those games. And, and it just seems like you know every time you bet them when they are favored, they come out and uh, and lay the smackdown. So we got to look at those those games as well, brother. My man Kid Picks has talked to me yesterday about the um, about the Red Sox game, and I I was like, listen, dude, you know what? I I'm, I don't, I'm not playing the Red Sox. <laughs> <laughs> what did he tell you? Love the line you, was moving at you, six a.m. in Vegas. Yeah, yeah. Love you to death. <laughs> love you to death. You know, lo- respect you. You know, you're my boy. You know. Um, I'm not playing the Red Sox. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not, I, man. And I, and I don't feel, even though, and even that he won, uh, which the game was, wasn't it a little bit on the longer side for a game? Um, I, you know, they were up two to one, and they tied the game two to two. I, you know, I don't know. For I some wasn't reason, really it like paying the game went on forever because I got a, I got a tweet up. Uh, uh, a text from him late last night saying easy money and I was like well I don't know how easy it was because the game was on extra long it seemed like to me and I was like listen I don't even care that you won good c- congratulations I don't even feel bad about not taking the Red Sox <laughs> I won't feel bad about not taking the Red Sox not taking the Phillies and not taking the White Sox ever <laughs> right 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 especially the White Sox he just cannot score my no god, doubt. Kid. Ah, my no god. Doubt. it's like uh, 14 runs in a eight game slide I, I believe it is um, and you know the Indians over the Cubs obviously I told you I didn't think that they were going to get embarrassed two days in a row uh, K right. Sizzle just continuing to beat up on the Brewers kid they swept them bro two games in their house two games in their house right. you know what I'm saying so they're 20 games under 500 now it's the uh, Milwaukee Brewers so uh, huh, my future's not looking too good with that but hey whatever it was a light play uh, Pirates as we talked about uh, Giants <laughs> Oh my God. Giants uh, win by a touchdown over the Mariners, seven to nothing, and uh, the Dodgers we had discussed uh, with the walk off balk. <laughs> do the job, man. So uh, let's get right into it, man. I got dude. Freaky Fridays is going crazy right now. I man. know. I see. What do you, what do you <laughs> dude? All right. So it's very, very tough for us to concentrate at times, guys. I mean, oh, dude. Yoro sent something that looks like a little something that we know. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take a look at what he's doing, man. Which one? Not the one with the um, she, she's the, the, standing she up. She got like the, the stretching thing she's oh, doing. No, oh my god, dude! Look at all this stuff. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin here, man. Wow, unbelievable! Total Sports Edge. That is lovely as well, guys. If we are on Twitter right now, looking at all the beautiful photos of all the females with the hashtag SB. TV Nation. Rick Lopez is out there. Clown Man Swag is out there. Notorious Dub V. Jordy Best. Nice stuff, man. You got any? Uh, got anybody in the lead yet? So far, no. <laughs> oh my God. But it, but it's coming in. Oh, <laughs> this I got something. <laughs> that one's a little vulgar, guys. We're trying to keep it at a uh, at a rated R type of rating here you know what i'm saying (laughs) so what i want to do dream is i want to get like the winners figure out a way how to post them on the website yeah you know what i'm saying so this way we know we got i mean we definitely have access to the um to the top the top three over the last three um three weeks so we're taking a look at this and uh Hey, you guys will get a uh, you get a big plug and you'll get on the website and also once our t-shirts are printed we will put you right on to one of those as well man so um taking a look at this stream what do you want to do you want to um you want to <laughs> what you got what do i want to do <laughs> dip off to costa rica <laughs> oh. oh my god thank god they would have enjoyed the show this week <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, exactly, man. A couple of things, uh, guys. You know, we're coming up. Uh, we got, we're got done every single day, man. Uh, 9 a.m. during the week, 10 a.m. on the weekends. This Sunday, I will be off the map. This Sunday is Father's Day, guys. Uh, you know, big shout-out to all the fathers that are out there, all the fathers and their fathers as well that listen to the biggest show in the world. We will be off the map on oh, Sunday. Man. And I meant to give – sorry, guys. I meant to give you guys a tip for Father's Day because I, I you and I both know – Everybody gets played on Father's Day. If you're a father, you know you get played on Father's Day. 
<laughs> All right? Yes. You know Father's Day has nothing, nowhere near the level of Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> it just ain't on the same level. <laughs> Don't ask me why, but it's not. So, for what we do in my house is, I leave the hints of what daddy wants for Father's Day. <laughs> okay? Before everybody in the house chips in and gets me that bottle of brew by Fabergé. <laughs> bottle of brew. <laughs> Old like Spice. Used to say, <laughs> they say brew by Fabergé. Like that means something. You know what I mean? Like that made brew dope. But anyway, before everybody in the house chips in and comes running me that dusty bottle, uh-uh. I now leave them all kinds of things around the house or all kinds of tips and, and ideas of what to get me for Father's Day so I don't have to hear that. Oh, you got everything. We don't need to. I said, yeah, you got everything too. I still managed to come through our Mother's Day though. <laughs> <laughs> Bottle of Old Spice, kid? <laughs> no doubt. So, guys, like I said, you know what? I, I'm a big I'm a big cigar guy, so I left the cigar magazine around and circled the page. I mean, when I say I circled the pages, I mean, I took like the 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 the, the the black magic marker that my son uses in like preschool you know the fat one it's like the size of your finger <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's circle my stuff that i like you know circle some video games that i might want you know circle some movies all kinds of ideas for them so that father's day turns out to be dead right oh good for you man good for you I kind of like Dream. You know what? Now that there's just baseball on, yep. you know, it's probably good just not to recap, you know, the scores in general, but just basically talk about each game like we just did. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Because, you know. A little, a little synopsis of, the, of, of some of the games that meant something. I'm down with that. Especially we can go over some of the leans that the day before if we didn't play them. It's a great idea. Um, We could definitely do that. Yeah, I'm definitely down with that because, I mean, uh, and, and we're going to be, uh, guys, what we're going to do is be, be – all entrenched in football coming up, man. There's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes, a lot of news popping. So, you know, we're going to be doing our homework and figuring out all the latest and greatest with football that's coming up, guys. As you know, fantasy is huge right now. We'll probably be getting some fantasy experts on here to kind of talk and, uh, you know, make some money with the upcoming football season. Dream, I am not going to play fantasy, though. Yeah, no, oh, no, you're not, because the guys in the league, they, they want to, they still want to kill you. I'm still hearing heat about that, by the way. Are you Adder really? Last year, joined the, joined the, was in my league. Oh, he was in it two years in a row, but last year he decided to to chill. And <laughs> I have not, I, I am still doing damage control on that, which I am not dealing with this year. Uh, I can't believe they're still talking about that, man. Oh, them dudes, because they got nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not only do I got to get up and do my homework before the show, uh, take care of my bride, do the whole package, and, uh, you know, get my plays in and all that, but then I got to try to, you know, check out a fantasy roster on Sundays. That was very tough to do, man. Rick so, uh, Lopez came through. <laughs> oh, Rick Lopez. I had to do some pushing some 30s. <laughs> really? Wow. wow, he got some size. He got some size out there. The Ooh, white and the blue, they got size you, player. You know we love size. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that might be even too big. That's like, that's, that's borderline linebacker. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a big joke that we have, guys. You know, when you see a team coming in of uh, big, big ones, <laughs> it's a team of linebackers, man. <laughs> we don't, and, and I, this, this, I'm not going like heavy, heavy, heavyweight. Just, this is like just some like extraordinary thick, you know, kind of borderline, you know, in between. And Hatter's Day form is the line, the linebacker. And it cracks me up all the time. We start laughing. It's like, oh, you wanted to get with the linebacker, son. <laughs> Definitely, man. I'm looking at, wow, there's a lot of stuff on the hashtag SBTV Nation this morning, man. J-Cast, J-Cast, I like the airport. <laughs> oh, really? The air oh, yeah, dude, the airport's, kid, the airport's hot. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, Whoa. <laughs> Son, I like that one. <laughs> Wow, that's... Cass is now in the lead. As we're off. Oh, we <laughs> we are. On the right turn is Jay Cass, and he's come out the gate strong. But yeah. right behind him is Rick Lopez. Rick Lopez on the heavy horse. <laughs> <laughs> I like Rick Lopez's uh, Costa Rica ones. <laughs> yeah. That ain't linebacker. That's dope. I saw. Oh no, I know. But the, the, well, the, I, I think this. I think the one towards the the, the left could be linebackerish. <laughs> <laughs> linebacker is towards the right is dope. Oh, look at Irvin's kid with the white shorts. 
Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Standing up on the sink. Wow, guys. All right, man. So we are going <laughs> to – Tip Talker loves Fridays. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Having a great time. I can't wait to get Crush the Bookie on here to, uh, you know, see. But right now, I, I believe – that that one is in the lead right now, the airport. J Cash right now has the lead. Definitely has the lead. Not by much, though. There's a few right up behind him. Let's see if he can maintain position. Yes. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And, and is there gonna be a um is there gonna be like someone that comes out from the back and just takes the lead today? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Rick Lopez is running his second <laughs> with war emblem. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Costa Rica War Emblem. Yep, yep, yep. Definitely. So uh I think I have a um I think I have a special guest coming on. I don't I don't know yet, but I gotta just kinda see if I got something popping here. Hold on one second, guys. Let me see what I got. Time to play the game. Time to play the game. <laughs> Do I got my man Crush the Bookie on the line? What's going on, big <laughs> What's up, brother? How you doing, man? I'm all right. Uh, ready to ready. I mean, I was honored to be uh, requested as a guest judge for such a you know such a beautiful subject on a. <laughs> I got my boy. I got my boy to dream on finally with you, brother. CB, what's going on, baby? How are you doing? Oh, what's going on, Dream? Uh, How you doing, brother? Good, good, good to hear you guys. Uh, and you know, it's good. It's good to hear you guys. I'm ready to, you know, judge. That's what I'm. I'm, I'm like, I'm half in between. You know, calling you and looking at these pictures. Getting lost here. <laughs> look at this. Like, look at the. Uh, look at some of these. Pictures. I mean, <laughs> Twitter is so ridiculous. <laughs> some, of these, some of these pictures on here are ridiculous. It's bad enough when uh, Freaky Fridays aren't going on, but when you when you throw this on here, you got a girl on top of her, you know, uh, mirror painting here in the bathroom oh. by Irvin. I'm looking at that. Looking at Sports Total Edge. Hey, and you know what, CB? Yeah. You know what? You're dead right. Because at the time when your show is on, yo, Twitter is bananas at that time. <laughs> <laughs> These people are crazy. You uh, can catch an SD, uh, STD on Twitter at the time of your show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because because the East Coast is getting wasted around 1 a.m. Eastern, <laughs> and the West Coast is just starting to party. Uh, so, it, it, you know, and then on a Friday night at 1 a.m., like tonight, at 1 a.m. Eastern, it doesn't even matter if my show is posted at 1 a.m., 1.30. Everybody's half walk. Uh, they don't even know what time it is by the time they hit the play button. Uh, but no, most of the people are blasted on Twitter all night. It's, it's, I, it's, it's insane. At, at that time when you're on, and it's like, I feel like I need to maybe get a condom out and put it on my <laughs> <laughs> It's a different energy at night. It's a different energy at night. Like, no, I better put it's, something it's, on my, my computer. <laughs> it's ridiculous. At night, at night, it gets a little crazy. But the same guys, you know, the same guys that are uh, listening in at night, listening in the morning, are there all day. The same, you know, it's the same crew of, of people that have, you know, faithfully followed my show, your show, it's usually the same, guys. The, the real people out there will stick by you, you know, and, and the fly-by people, you know, they'll check it out. If they like it, they'll stick around. If not, they'll, they'll talk shit and keep it moving. So that's usually what happens with Twitter, you know. As you as you stay on Twitter and as you grow, as, as you have in the last year plus, you'll, you'll notice, you know, you'll have your guys who are there every day, every morning, listening in, checking in faithfully, you know, listen and love the show, and you know you'll get gain more and more followers, and then you'll have the guys who uh, love the show one day, hate the show the next, love it the next day, talk shit the next. So that that's Twitter as, as far as plays, as far as radio shows, as far as people. Under the under that little tweet bird on Twitter, it should say good guys who have a ton of haters. That's what it should say under <laughs> under the bird. On, that should be the slogan for Twitter. Good guys uh, who have a ton of haters. Uh, you, yeah. know you know what they should do? You know what they should do too? Twitter should get like a like a monitor on some of the people some of the people that are on here and have like 
psycho next to their name. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, <laughs> instead, of, instead of that blue check mark, instead of that blue check mark next to the famous people, it should be a mental hospital next to some of these people on Twitter. That's what should be next to their name. A mental hospital, like a, a psycho ward, maybe like a, a crazy lady coming out, a butcher knife, a, a crazy girl with a pair of scissors trying to cut it off. Just a bunch of crazy. I mean, it's it's insanity on Twitter. Uh, Dude, yeah. I'm, I'm done, it's definitely, <laughs> definitely a couple of cats. I swear that they escaped off their padded room. It's it's, the, it's that break. You know how they get that one hour break to leave the room <laughs> get, yeah. get, a, get, a, get their jello and their uh, and their, their their volume and then go back in the room i swear they get on the laptop and they they, they pay the kind off let me tweet let me tweet real quick yeah, right. <laughs> mommy mommy can you uh, can you unbuckle my straight jacket mommy i want to come it's ridiculous bunch of haters bunch of mental i want to tweet i want to uh c rodriguez jr uh-oh 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 what happened let me, let, let me look at this <laughs> let me look at I got uh, let me look at this. I can't type in hashtag SDC Nation fast enough. <laughs> if you are listening right now, if you are listening, make sure you put the hashtag SBTV Nation yes, on definitely. the picture so that we can actually see it because that's where we're looking at it. Absolutely. So hashtag SBTV Nation and post your picture. I'm looking at yeah, Rick Lopez with another picture. These, these beautiful ladies are on the volleyball court. Oh, you know? that's the volleyball <laughs> one. I love the volleyball one, man. That, that one's that car one's... is posting a pic of his girl. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man hey uh get, real quick i mean we got a um i'm looking at this one here um my man i got a newcomer here Vinny. what's going on man that one at the beach is dope with too. the italian flag that's a uh, oh. dj paul uh paulie t and Vinny from the jersey chart oh yeah <laughs> Listen, and, look, and actually this girl you know she's on the beach here she's got the waves coming in the background and she said you know what uh, I, I, i'm gonna take you the first chair you know let it go against my my little uh, pink song. Not bad. <laughs> little frame picture. I mean, whoever put this together had the decency to put a little white borders on the side. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta love some pictures like this. All day Not long. Not bad. Vinny, Vinny, Vinny didn't do too bad. Idiots. So we got to figure out how to make some money, kid. So you know what? You've been, I've been listening to you, man. You're entrenched in this whole soccer. Talk to me about what's coming up in soccer, dude. We really got to fi figure this whole thing out. Well, 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 let's go. Well, what happened was, you know, the, the the Spanish league just ended. Barcelona, you know, ended up winning it and taking the title. So now they have this this Copa going on, which I don't bet international soccer unless Petey, you know, cousin Pete, that football money is telling me he really loves something. And he was he was invested in this Copa tournament coming up. What happens is that these big favorites end up going and playing in Chile. It's in Chile. It's on B in TV. I don't know if you have it on your cable or you're paying extra for those. Spanish channels, or you, you might have it for free. It's called BN. That's the that's the soccer station that's you know telecasting all of these Copa games. So if you are watching the Copa games, but you have all these teams in the Copa, like Argentina and Brazil and Chile and Colombia, all these teams are playing in this in this tournament with these big stars on Brazil and and and, and Argentina, like Messi and, and Neymar, and it seems like these guys don't really. And from what I've seen in the first week, it seems like these guys don't care. They're, they're not even trying. And I, I asked Pete, I said, what, what the hell is going on with this Copa? Every dog is collecting. Every team's not playing the way they should. Argentina's blowing two goal leads. Brazil's barely getting passed. And, and, and the other night, they lost to Colombia. Colombia's not a bad team, but they still lost the game. Neymar missed some easy shots. So I'm watching, like, I'm a fan of Brazil. I've always been a fan of Brazil. And I, I watched them in the World Cup. I wanted Brazil to win. It was unfortunate that Neymar went down in the World Cup. Maybe they would have had a better chance against Germany. They laid down once the whole, once Neymar went down in the World Cup, the whole team laid down and, and the whole country laid down and kind of said, oh, that's it. We're done, you know? So it, for, it was unfortunate events that happened in Brazil as far as the national team for Brazil in the World Cup. But in this Copa, it's like these guys don't want to be there, it seems like. It seems like nobody wants to play, nobody's getting paid to play, and they could care less, you know? It's, it, it's really been a, 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 a dog's 
Copa. If you like the dogs, you've been able to get paid in this Copa because the favorites haven't shown up. You know, and gotcha. teams that should play certain ways haven't shown up from what I've seen. And I'm not, you know, I don't know every single Spanish team as good as Cousin Pete knows them. I can't reel off every guy's name on all the rosters like C- Cousin Pete will. So when I have a Copa play, usually it's from Cousin Pete. It's from him telling me he likes it. Like today, um, he's on, uh, I think he's on Bolivia plus one and a half at Football Money on uh, on Twitter. You can check his page out. I think it's Bolivia's playing. They might be playing. Uh, let me let me let me make sure exactly who they're playing. They're playing. Uh, Bolivia is playing Chile. So Chile's the, the actually the country who's hosting the event. So it's a home game gotcha. for Chile. Bolivia is going to be getting one and a half goals, and it's minus one twenty five to win a hundred on that. Okay. Um, so Bolivia is an underdog. Chile's supposed to win by two. You can get Bolivia plus one and a half minus the one twenty five. So basically. It's a, it, you know, it's like a baseball game where it's a run line minus one and a half if you want the run line to get it at even money because Chile's such a big favorite. You know, it's, it's kind of that scenario. We went with the same game on the over. He put, he put, oh wow, he put five bills on the over on Chile and Bolivia over two and a half. This, I think this game's at seven thirty Eastern tonight on BN. All the Copa games are on BN, but this one, yeah, this one's at seven thirty Eastern. Bolivia and Chile. Cousin Pete is on. Bolivia plus one and a half. Wheat is on, and that's Wheat Money on Twitter, is on the over two and a half. So they both have plays in this game. As far as anything I would post in the Copa, the only team that I know, the national team, because these are all the national teams. These are the same teams that play in the World Cup, same teams that represent their country. And, you know, the only team that I know really well is Brazil, because I've been following them for in so many years because of this Brazilian ex-girlfriend that I had that was a complete nutshell. But that, that's the time. <laughs> you know, like, um, that, that's how I got into Brazil, to the, the, you know, the Brazil team because she loved Brazil. She always was uh, talking about Brazil and I go, you know, whatever. Bottom line is, as far as the soccer is concerned, football money is the guy. He, he really does know his, 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 uh, his stuff when it comes to, to soccer. I like watching the MLS. I enjoy watching, you know, you can't watch a game like Brazil and then put off the put on the MLS. It's, it's not as good, but I still enjoy watching the MLS because it's games that I can at least go to. It's teams that I can at least see. Brazil comes around maybe once a year and plays a friendly in met life, you know, so unless I'm traveling to Brazil or Chile, well, you know, I'm not going to see them play, and, and, you know, or unless I go to a meaningless friendly on a Tuesday night against maybe Mexico or something in met life once a year, I'm not going to see them play. So gotcha. that, that's the that's the whole thing with, uh, with 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 as far as watching the national teams and everything. It's great soccer when they're trying, when it yep. matters, <laughs> when they care, when they care. Half the time they don't care. That, yep. That's the problem. Gotcha. So. I love Skeeter posted a pic of my wife again. Thanks, Skeet. Love it. Don't think it's gonna ruin the show this week, player. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Something new. <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe you guys can dig up a pic of my grandmother. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, they'll, 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 they'll do. They'll, they'll, the, the haters will do whatever they want for you know whatever they, they whatever they whatever a hater can do to get attention, they'll do it. You know, they they just they just beg for attention. Because that's what a hater does. I, I've had so many haters on Twitter talk shit about me, put me down. But in the end, it doesn't really matter. You know, like they're 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 just useless pieces of garbage that it's some guy in his mom's basement sitting there on his computer yeah. eating some see. eating some yeah just eating some shit that his mom fed him and, and saying you know like like I have no job I have no life let me post a picture of this you know of this host that's this, this guy who's doing a radio show I'm gonna go find the, the, some shit on Dream because I really have no life. I gotta look up this guy's <laughs> name. I gotta look up what this guy does for a living. All because he hosts the show on Twitter. Yeah, I'm doing this all because he hosts the show on Twitter. All because he gives out some plays on Twitter. I'm gonna go and invest all my time, all my energy to post a picture of, of, of the guy's life. Like, it's just common garbage and, and, and common knowledge. You don't do dumb shit like that. Plain and simple. You don't do that. And these people, they continue to do it to get attention they have no life they really are a bunch of losers 
Most of Twitter is a bunch of losers. I think 10% of Twitter maybe are real people. The rest of them hate. I don't know why you got to hate so much on my show or any show, SBTV show. Why do you have to hate? These guys are doing it for free every morning, busting in their ass, Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern, on the weekends, 10 a.m. Why do you have to hate? If you don't like it, shut up and don't listen. Just keep your movie. Listen to something else. That's don't it, listen man. To, 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 you know, Francesca put you to sleep or some shit. Like, <laughs> it doesn't matter. You know, go listen to the Mad Dog or uh, Chris Russo over there or whatever. Go listen to, who's that old guy at night on WFAN? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that old my dude, dude, that's the sweater. Oh, no, that's the sweater. <laughs> I he love the sweat. Did. Yo, the, the, the hey, hey, the see me the smooth. Do you know that guy's not even that old? He sounds like he's 80. No, I love that dude. Listen, he when I have the game, he forgets what game he's recapping by the end of the segment. Dude, when I I met that guy, I can't remember. I don't remember his real name. I met him at a he was at some some event I was at, and I was like. I was like, you're the schmooze? Because I'm looking at, I mean, he's an older dude, but he sounds like he's like 80 on the radio. He's not yeah. that that old, but he sounds like he's 80. Really yeah, and when I met him, I was like, you, that's you? I'm looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of people do not sound, you know, look like what they sound like. You, you right. you're surprised, you know, yeah. like even Tony Page. I was like, right. oh, this is definitely a white guy. And then I looked, it's a black guy. I was like, wow, I didn't think that guy was black. <laughs> you know, like, funny thing. Sounds like the, the, the guaranteed white guy in his mid-40s, early 50s. And, and he's and I love Tony Cage at night. Sometimes, you know, I, I'll, I'll listen to some. I don't want to get caught up on your, you know, radio. But the bottom line is, it's like, who go who needs to go after anyone on Twitter unless they have no life themselves. So everyone going after anyone on Twitter, hating anyone on Twitter, talking crap on anyone on Twitter, basically you're just putting a, a hashtag on your own self saying, I suck, I have no life, and I'm a complete loser. That's yeah. what it is. That's you know, it, like, really, they're, uh, looking at these girls' asses that people are tweeting out, I see <laughs> haters stuck up most of these girls' asses. And yeah. that's what's on Twitter. A bunch of haters <laughs> who are stuck up some female's ass and, and can't get out. They can't. There's, they, you know? And you just got to basically, eventually, the girl's got to take a shit on you. And, and that's what happens. <laughs> and you get flushed down the toilet bowl. Total shit. Got it. Total well, garbage, we got, man. We got Casado. Casado just, I think, took the lead. Really? Really? Casado's got a two-piece. That, um, the, the, the white, I like them. Actually, they're both incredible. But the red, the one with the red. <laughs> I gotta I take think a look. Oh, yeah, they just took the lead. They're, 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 they're just they're, they're just sitting there getting a suntan. Today, you know what? Let's let's look to the left and take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> let's look. We, we both got the you know we both got the hair down our backs. We got the little white g string going on. Yeah, the one on the right is better. Oh wow! The one with the red. The one with the red. Uh, red. I like red I like uh, I like Mister Nice Guy's photo with the with the football the football girl. I like her too. Where's Mr. That? Nice Guy got um, the football. But Tanak is underneath with the girl that looks like she's in Haiti in the background. And, like they're about to shut it down. And the brother thinking like he's sitting behind her. And he's like, you know what? I wonder if I could get to her before the military gets here. <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 I'm, because I'm lost. I'm looking at one ass and I get caught. And I, and I get stuck looking at it. And all of a sudden, then I see a girl with a Brazilian flag. And she looks beautiful. <laughs> From Irvin, I, I, ten minutes ago, I'm looking at her, and, and she she has this Brazilian. She looks she, wow. That all right? I gotta go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. That, that, that Brazilian girl is ridiculous. Oh, that Brazilian girl. Man, hey guys, I want to these girls. I want to talk about real quick. We have a bunch of new MLB series coming up, and mm -hmm. I want to see C CB. Do you ever get involved in series plays? Yeah, I mean, I, I might if I think a team really has a chance to win a series, you, you know, and it, it's decent value. Most of the time, you're going to, you know, you get a team that's been like red. See, tonight, like a team, I'm sure, just looking at these games tonight, St. Louis has been on fire, right? They're playing Philadelphia. They're about, I think, 170, 180 on the money line. I would think that, you know, everybody's going to jump on. The public play, I would think, tonight is going to be the Cardinals. You know, I, I would definitely think that's the public play. 
that's where everybody's going to lean. Get on the Cardinals. They're 20 games over 500. Everybody's going to jump on them. I look at, you know, you got to look a little, in, a little bit into the numbers. St. Louis on the road and Philly at home, it's almost the identical record. As far as these two pitchers, there's nothing that impressive. I don't know if St. Louis is that great of a favorite that they should be minus 170 tonight in Philly. I think they're, you know, I think they're just, they're good at home. St. Louis is, you know, St. Yeah. Louis, no doubt, without a doubt, kills it. But on the road, minus 175 with this, I don't know, man. There they I don't, and, I know, and I know everybody's going to need St. Louis to win tonight, you know? So I definitely will not be on the Cardinals. Hopefully they win for everyone else, but. I, I, I'm not going to lay 175 on the Cardinals tonight. Even though they should win, it, it, it looks to me like it's a toss-up in Philadelphia. It doesn't look like it should be that. You look on paper, you look at their records, and you say, yeah, St. Louis is so much better. But then you look at St. Louis's road record, I think they're one game over 500, and Philly's are one game under 500. That's the real stat. What Philly's at home and what St. Louis is on the road. That's their real records. That's what should be next to their team's. You know, it shouldn't go on your overall record. It should do, be your record on the road, your record at home. If you're playing on the road, that's what you, your record should be next right. to you, next to the team's name. You know. Well, this like, um, this Felipe Almut, I, I believe that's his name. Uh, he's getting his first start for Philadelphia, and uh, Tyler Lyons is for the uh, St. Lucia Cardinals, and he's only he's one and zero with a five ERA. <laughs> Yeah. So it seems like yeah. you got some. Uh, I mean, do you know anything about these guys? Is it like, are they? I don't are know they anything new? about. I don't. I don't know anything about this guy Amont from Philly. Yeah, I'm nothing right. at all. Like I, I have no idea if, if, if who, who this guy is. You know, I was looking at, I was looking at someone else making their major league debut tonight against the Mets. The, the guy on the uh, on the Braves tonight. He, he, you know, they actually got him in a. In a in a trade when they traded Kimball when they traded their closer when the Braves traded their closer they traded him to uh, San Diego this was one of San Diego's top prospects he comes to the he comes to the Braves and he's he's facing Degrom tonight against the Mets so if, I don't know if you noticed this but every time the Mets and Braves are played each other for some reason these games are going over like crazy yeah Degrom was the rookie of the year last year he's pitching great. Uh, at home, he, he's almost lights out. On the road, he could like he faced the Braves. I think it was last Saturday. I watched the game. He faced the Braves. I want to say he gave up one run and he pitched like seven innings uh, against the Braves. I think that was that has to be his last start because it was sat- last. It was last Saturday, last weekend. They played the Braves at home in City Field. The Mets played them three in City Field, and uh, Degrom pitched great. Uh, Penn comes in as usual. The Mets Penn comes in, blows the game at the end. I mean, they've done it with Harvey. Pitched great the other day. They blew the game. They, the Mets Penn is total garbage. The Mets yeah. inning is, is is even worse. The the last two games. I mean, they go and beat a team that was on a. They go and beat Toronto, who was on fire. Toronto was on fire when they went to City Field. I think they won eleven in a row going yeah. into City Field on Monday night. Monday, the, the Mets beat them. Tuesday, the Mets beat them. Okay, Tuesday, Harvey was pitching. You want to say, you know, Harvey was pitching. He was due for a good start. He was due to pitch a good game. He was pitching. Mets beat them. Then they go to Toronto and play, you know, it was a two at City Field. It was two in Toronto at Rogers Center. They go to Toronto. They play them, a four-game set. And you knew, you knew Toronto wasn't going to let the Mets take them four in a row. You know, the, you know they're not going to. You know they're going to win. The, they're going to lose the two in City Field, and you know Toronto is going to bitch slap them back at home. You, you knew it was coming. <laughs> I didn't care that Cologne was pitching last night. You know I knew he was going to get spanked. I, I, listen, it, when Dicky pitches, and Dicky was facing the uh, Cologne on Thursday night, it was Mets at, at Blue Jays last night. When Dicky is on, if you see Dicky get past like the first two innings and he doesn't give up a run, and that knuckleball is, is moving. It's almost lights out. If you can get on an end game, uh, as far as a, a low total, now the Blue Jays, you know, annihilated the Mets anyway, and it didn't matter because Cologne got roughed up. But usually, if, if, if Dickey is on early, if he's even the first inning, if he comes out and he's got that knuckleball moving, I'm not saying he's got, you know, he's getting in trouble and just gets out of it with a, a couple of hard hit balls and guys just hit at people. I'm saying the knuckleball is dancing and guys look like they're not going to touch it. He usually can shut it down. I mean, I remember him from his Mets days when he won the side Young with the Mets. And, and and every time he would get through that first inning, he would usually have a, a decent start. Like, his numbers weren't that great going into last night's game. But I knew with the Mets and, and the way they're hitting and 
and, and just the, the, the way that this team, it was just set up for the Mets to get smoked on Thursday night. Right. Tonight, now, they play two in Toronto. They continue their road trip playing three in Atlanta here. And tonight, it's the Rom against this, this kid, uh, Weisler, which is making his major league debut, which is the kid they got in the trade with Kimmel. That, you know, when they when they tra- when when they made this trade, where they traded one of the best closers in baseball to San Diego, and half you know San Diego was the team that made all the moves on the offseason, loading up. Everybody's thinking San Diego going into the year is going to have a great year. The Dodgers better watch out. This is the team to be. And now you know now it's not you know you got to play together. It's like it's like almost like in ba- in basketball going into the season. I don't care what anyone says. The Cavs were the best team in the NBA. With Love and Kyrie and LeBron, they should have won the title. Unfortunately, Love got hurt. Kyrie gets hurt in game one. Or, you know, like it, it sucks for, for Cleveland fans to, to really get that far and then at least not even have, only have LeBron. That's all they had in the finals was LeBron. You know, so you can put the pieces together, but the pieces got to, you know, work together. Sure. And, and, le- and, and Cleveland's, in Cleveland's case, you got to stay healthy. You know, if Love and, and Kyrie are there, I don't think they have any problems getting past Golden State. I think they beat Golden State. They they could have beat. They could have really. They, if they could have won Game One, they would have had a chance to beat Golden State, and it would have been just LeBron five on one. So, definitely. You know, it, definitely. It's, sometimes you get injuries. Sometimes you know, things happen throughout the year. It it, it is what it is as far as that. But so so uh, CB uh, um... tonight the game that I really like is is this Mets. Um, this Mets Braves game, but yeah. there's no line up yet up on it, and I'm looking towards either playing the over, if it because every time these two teams are playing, it's going over, you know. And with this rookie making his debut, I think the Mets will be able to get some runs. With the Braves, you know, facing the Grom, they just faced them on Saturday, only had one run. I think back at home, they, they just seen him. I think they'll be able to scrap some runs against them. I think this one will go over, but it needs to be set at like a seven. I wouldn't if it's a seven and a half. I'm not going with the over. I want to also see what the money line is on the Mets and Braves. I got I'm thinking it. it should be. You got the money line. I got what, it what right here on uh, SportsBettersTV.com. I've got New York Mets minus one forty with an under over of seven and a half. So it's a seven and a half, and it's minus one forty on the Mets. That's too high. Oh, the Mets minus one forty is a little too high with the, with the juice. You know, if it was more like a, a pick 'em, I would say it's worth it. I would have to say this. See, I can't, I can't bet a team like the Braves with, with, with a guy making his debut, even though he's a number two right. prospect for right. the Braves. I can't back the Braves now because because I, I don't know who this kid is. I don't know if he's exactly. going to go out there and get rocked or if he's going to be the next uh, Tom Seaver. Like, uh, you know, I, I have no idea what this kid's going to do. So I can't back the Braves saying, oh, it's a value play. The Mets are on a, a you know, a, a two-game losing streak. They're on the road. They're not that good on the road. I can't back the the Braves tonight just because this kid is unknown. You don't know what you're going to get with a guy no. making his debut. He can go out there and be lights out, or he can go out there. Yeah, and, and, and I think he will go out there, and I think the Mets will scrap some runs together, and I, I think you'll see a 3-3 game. But at a 7.5 now, uh, I wish that was a seven. Maybe it'll come down. I, I I doubt it because the kids are rookie. I was hoping it was a seven. I would have took the over seven. Seven and a half. I'll think about it a little bit. All right. You know. Uh, I got you. Totally uh, understand. I mean, it's too much juice on the Mets. It's, it, it's too much juice to lay on the Mets, even though Degrom is, is you know is is one of the better pitchers in the National League and, and, and is the rookie of the year last year and has the great ERA. I just think it's a little too much juice for a New York Mets team that it is you know, isn't that great on the road. I think they're what, like well, they, they have a horrible road record, the Mets. It is bad. I think they're like I, mean, I think it's like ten and twenty one. So I'm not looking it's some garbage record like that, the Mets. So for a team that's ten and twenty one and you know the Braves gotta be about five hundred at home, you know, so uh, it, it's it's one of those where I would take a shot with the over tonight, even though it's a seven and a half. I rather it at a seven. Still take a shot with the over in the Mets game, rather than you know if I was going to play that game, uh, that was that would be where I, I go as far as the, as far as the play. Just because Mets and Braves have been going over, and I, I think they'll I think they'll give up. Uh, I think they'll both be giving up some some runs tonight. I know. I, 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 you got to think that this rookie is going to get cracked. I mean, he, he should be, he should be able to. I know, but 
when that's hitting so bad sometimes you never you, you, you never know I, I I don't know I think this one goes over man yeah, <laughs> I think gotcha. this one goes over maybe I'm wrong I yeah think it, I think it goes over. Couple of a uh, couple of other series I want to jump into real quick. Um, you know, we've got a couple of really good marquee series, I believe. Uh, CB, we've got um, we got Pittsburgh in Washington starting today. Uh, Pittsburgh at Washington. Uh, the game tonight is Pittsburgh minus one seventeen with an under over of seven. Um, I'd like Dream. Do you have the uh, the pitchers up? Ross Pittsburgh, 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 is going yeah. Pittsburgh. What's that? I'm sorry, Dream. Ross. Ross for the Nationals. Uh, he's one and one with a three point four six ERA, and you got AJ Burnett for the Pirates, six and two with a one point eight nine ERA. It's going to be a great series. It's going to be a great series, I think. Um, and Pittsburgh is playing, you know, playing lights out. Twenty one out of twenty six uh, games they've won so far on uh, the last twenty six. CB, what do you make of these two teams, man? What, what happened? I seen. I was. I didn't watch Washington on Thursday night, and I seen something in the highlights where uh, what's his name, uh, the Harper. Twisted his ankle or something? Yeah, he's out, uh, man. He, he, yeah, He's definitely out. He's definitely out. That's my understanding. That's what somebody just uh, told me. But I know that the Nasties yeah. were uh, they were getting all over Archer early. And then uh, they ended up uh, losing the game 5-3. to three. Yeah, and he's done. And how long does anybody know if he's going on the DL? Or uh, let me take a look and see what I have here. Just give me one second. Um, because I think it was one of those where I was watching some games and then I seen like a game break and they showed Harper twist his ankle last night. Yeah, he's day to day. And I never seen anything on it yet. Day to day with a day day to day with a hamstring issue. You know, Washington's probably been one of the. The, the 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 overrated teams, you know, and, and rightfully so. I mean, they, they did bring in Scherzer to, to pitch and everything. But as far as what they've done, there's no way the Mets should be leading that National League East over the Washington Nats. The, the Nats are the team in the National League on paper. The Nats are the best team in the National League. For the Mets to be leading the National League East and for the for the Nats to only be, you know, 500, that's ridiculous. That, right. that, that seems ridiculous to me. So they've underachieved all year long, the, the Washington Nationals have. It's, 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 it, it's a tough series. Pittsburgh's on fire. You know, tonight... I would lean towards Pittsburgh tonight, man. Pittsburgh's 12, 12 games over 500, man, rocking a 39-27 and 27 record. Uh, and Pittsburgh's superior in a lot more categories than the Washington Nasties are. Um, and you got A.J. Burnett. I mean, how about that one-two punch, man, with Burnett and um, and Cole for the Pittsburgh yeah, no. Pirates? Yeah. The only, the only yeah, problem yeah. the only problem I see with Pittsburgh is their bats. It's like, you know, they'll have that one big game where they score double digits, and then it's like, you know, one, two. Yeah, that's because Matuchin, right? Yeah. He's not having a great year. The last I've seen him, he, he's not having the year that he, he, you know, he's capable of. So when you when your number one guy is in Hinton, and uh, what's the first baseman here? Alvarez, or I think it's uh, the, the guy who's cracking all the home runs. The first baseman for for Pittsburgh. I can't think of his name now. I think it's Alvarez. That you know that 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 that's going to kill your your. Uh, they're lineup two. Let me see something real quick. Yeah, yeah no Alvarez. <clears throat> He's batting 240. I just want, you know, like that. I mean, this guy was the guy cracking all the home runs. I feel yeah. He's got 10 home runs in 61 games. You know, uh, McCutcheon's batting 290, 294. So he, his average went up a little from what I've seen. Him. He, he, he's actually picked it up because, I mean, but last year he was killing it. He was batting. 314, 317, but his that 294 is, is a step up from what I seen it a few weeks ago. So he must have got it going. Um, you, uh, looking at the rest of this lineup, there really is no hitting here. You know, Polanco yeah. is batting 240, Mercer is batting 220. It's tough. Art, it's a weak, it's a weak lineup as far as the hitting. There, you need that. You know, well, okay, that that's their guy, man. That's who's been. You know, that's who should be on the all-star team from what I've seen, you know, as far as the Pittsburgh Pirates are concerned, the, you know, left field, they should, they should have, I mean, he, they should, he should be on the all-star team from, from what I've seen, and he's only batting 285. Gotcha, you man. You know, the, the, this, this, this Pittsburgh team, you know, uh, it's, Burnett, I wonder if the, the Yankees or, or Marlins wish they had Burnett still. 
<laughs> yeah, definitely, man. So I'm looking at that series. There's another good series coming up, CB. So, I mean, um, you know, as far as Washington, uh, Bryce Harper does look like he's out today. Um, and, you know, he has been um, tearing it up. So I don't know if I'm going to mess with that game. Um, you know, Burnett's been kind of lights out. Um, I think I'm going to just fall back and watch that. Um, there's another good series coming up here. Um where we've got the uh, the Detroit Tigers coming into the New York Yankees, kid, and uh, yeah, with Verlander on the think, mound. Yeah, you would think you would think that even though Verlander, you know, missed the beginning of the season and everything, and he, he was on the DL. This, this this is one of those games where Verlander would love to shine in New York Friday night season. You know, uh, series opener on a Friday night. You know, people are going to pay attention to that. That's probably one of the marquee games or. One of the games where at least people will pay attention to what Verlander's doing since you know since he's been back. He, he didn't look bad in, in his last start, but tonight in Yankee Stadium, people will pay attention to Verlander against Warren. Detroit and the Yanks, man, they... they uh, it, this one's on MLB Network, actually, so everyone can watch it, not just in Detroit and in New York. So that will definitely add people's uh, public money to the game right there just as being on national TV. I would think that uh, the way the Yankees been playing, I mean, Yankees, I had the Yankees last night, you know, in a, in a, in a, in a I did a home 18-5 going up against Detroit, Detroit, on the, on the road, 16 and 14. It's, it's almost like uh, wine against. Wine. <laughs> I'm just looking. I'm just trying to think. You know, I'm just trying to cap a game in three seconds here. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's how we <laughs> feel, man. We come on in the mornings, because, because man. My, my my you know my game my game going into tonight it was I wanted to see what the Mets line was. I wanted to see what the over under was. If it was a seven, I would have definitely been on this over. At a seven and a half, I'm a little hesitant. You know, I, I like to play in the MLS first half with the Rapids. I'll probably give that out first half of one goal, over one goal in the Rapids game tonight. That's on that's on Univision Deportes in the MLS, but it's nationally televised on Univision Deportes. That's uh, um, Dallas FC against uh, Colorado Rapids at 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I'll give out the over first half of one goal. So as long as they get one goal, you're pushing. They could get more than one. We win. It would be nice if we win on an MLS over, first half over, one goal, I think you'll push or collect on that. I think that's probably the best bet. Because I would have gave out the Mets over at a seven, seven and a half. It's it's right there. It it could go over. I don't love it as much at a seven. I don't love the Mets at a minus 140. There's no way in hell I'm taking the Mets minus 140. I don't care. I don't care if Dwight Gooden's pitching with that lineup, not hitting a kid, unproven pitcher for the Braves. It's one of those games where you just kind of say, you know what, I, I, let's just look at the box score when we wake up. Got gotcha. you. It, it, it's, it's not that great. It, I'll, I'll, I'll take a, a small shot with the over seven and a half, but it would it would have been a lot bigger if it was seven. That's gotcha. the truth. Cool deal, you know, that's, man. That's, that's the truth with that. 15, so, uh, 15 games on a ticket today, my God. I mean, we're not going to, guys, we're not going to have time to break them all down. Um, you know, this is an hour long show. We're already, we're already at the hour mark. We're you know, a couple minutes over, but um, taking a look at, um, you know, all the rest of them, just rattling them off. You got Baltimore coming into Toronto tonight. Uh, you got Tampa Bay coming into Cleveland, Miami at Cincinnati. Uh, we talked about the Mets. Got Texas coming into Chicago with my boy Chris Sale on the mound. And dude, Chris Sale minus 180. How the hell can the White Sox be giving 180 to anybody? Even that, with my that, boy that, on the mound. That game got rained out last night, right? You were supposed to pitch last night, Sale? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, Texas played, no. Um, Texas played the Dodgers last night. No, but Sale's on the White Sox, right? Yeah, it's a, yeah. it's a new series. Oh, he well, yeah, they, they, yeah, yeah. Detroit got rained out. I'm thinking he, he got rained yeah. out. Yeah, Detroit and Cincinnati got rained out. Yeah. Yep. So uh, I don't know about that game, guys. I mean, you get Texas plus 160 versus an awful White Sox <laughs> offense, man. I mean, I know yeah. Chris Sale's been lights out, but you know there are times where he does get beat up on. So. You know what? I may take a look at that. I may do maybe do like a, a Texas plus one and a half for even money. Yeah, that's not bad because te- Texas is actually better on the road than they are at home. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's, so that, that that that's definitely not a not a bad play. What it's one and a half even money on Texas? I I mean it's if it, if they're plus one sixty CB, you're probably like maybe like a minus one ten or even money with the plus one and a half. It's it's minus one forty on plus one. Oh, okay, all right. So <laughs> yeah, but I was gonna say if that's even money. I was about to jump. Out. I was uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, like I was about to say because if you can get a team with a with a winning record on the road, I know it's sale, but you know Texas scores. Well, Texas is hitting. Texas is, is scoring runs. So to get them at a plus one and a half minus one forty, and I'm sure that I'm looking on Sportsbook AG, which juices the line. So you probably get it less than a minus one forty. If you can get this at, I'd say, even 130 or, or less on plus one and a half with the Rangers, that's not a bad a bad play against the White Sox. Tonight. You know, if you want to really take a shot and take the money line plus 157, I, I would go for that. I think that's a, a legit value dog on, on the Rangers tonight, especially a team that's winning on the road. I know it's sale. I know, you know, he's capable of pitching a good game, but so is Lewis. You know, Lewis can pitch a good game, too. I would take a shot with the Texas Rangers at plus 157 to 160. I don't think that's a bad dog. No, definitely not. Dream. Uh, you can't lay, you're not laying 180 on the White Sox. I don't give a shit how good they're I, I know. Know. I know. You know? Yep. I know. I'm listening. Go ahead. Uh, what, do you, what, do you, what do you got? You got any uh, no score first innings you're looking at or anything? No, I don't. I'm looking. I don't I don't see anything that I love right now. I've been looking at, you know, while you guys have been going. Um, I don't see anything I love. I'm, I'm real mixed. I, 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 I don't even like any series right now, to be honest. The only thing I like is, I mean, I, I obviously like everybody else in the country, like St. Louis, you know, to beat the Phillies in the series. But you know, <laughs> you know, the, you know, the, you know, the series right on that's gonna be like, like probably 280. Um, yeah, right. So yeah. you know, it's, I, I don't see anything else that I love right now as far as, you know, I like the, I like a home team, and they're not even home. The only other thing I like is. I, like KC, you know, I, I kind of like KC a little bit for for the series uh, against the Red Sox, but I'm not in love with it. Yeah, right. I would, I, I would definitely take KC. I think K, the Kansas City Royal series would be a lot better play than than the, the Cardinals series. But you know, I, if you were going to play a series, I would I would recommend playing the the, the KC series because they're at home. Oh, you, like, and, you like the Phillies to win the Cardinals series? I, I, it's not that I like them. I just think the Royal Series is is, be, is a better series. You know, I, I think uh, harangue against Lockie on Saturday with the Phillies and Cardinals uh, tonight. Anything could happen in the Phillies Cardinals. The Phillies didn't even didn't even uh, didn't even announce their pitcher for Saturday. So yeah, Sunday. I mean Sunday. Sunday, the Cards probably have the best chance to win the game tonight. I mean, the Cards should win that series, but. Uh, tonight is the, tonight is the, the game for as far as the series, and I think anyone can win tonight in this yeah. Cardinals game. You know, tonight is tonight. Yep. The Cardinals would have to win tonight's game to to to, to really lock up the series in my eyes. Because uh, yes, the Cardinals should win on Sunday. Tomorrow on Saturday, I think it's a toss up that game. And tonight, I think it's a toss up to lay at minus two hundred or two eighty or whatever you said the series was on the Cardinals. I don't I don't think it's worth it. You know, right. to, tell, to tell you the truth, it's too much juice for something that. So, uh, yes, the Cardinals should win, you know, but as far as laying that much juice, you might as well just lay the 180 tonight on the Cardinals to win tonight. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, forget, forget, forget laying the 280 for the series because I think if they lose tonight, I, I, they, they probably will lose the series. So I don't, I don't, I don't you know, I, I, Sunday, Sunday it looks like it's a guaranteed Cardinals win game on, on Sunday. But as far as tonight and tomorrow, uh, I don't know, man. Gotcha. I don't know. I, I would lay a run line. If somehow Philly could get tonight and tomorrow, I would lay a run line on the Cardinals on Sunday. That would be a great play. But that's if the Phillies won. I think the best underdog was the one that had was talking about with the Texas Rangers, man. I, I really believe that Chael will lose. And I think the Rain looking into this one a little more, I think the Rangers is a decent player. Plus 160, I would, I would take a shot. If you want to take a shot with a dog, take a shot with the Rangers tonight. Cool Texas deal. Is, Texas is a legit dog tonight. That, that's a lot of dog. Cool deal. At plus 160. 
Definitely looking at the uh, rest of the lineup here, guys. Um, and you, you're going to have to do some of your own homework today. And I'll put out my stuff later on if I'm feeling froggy about any of these games. But we got um, we got Boston at KC tonight. We've got Chicago at Minnesota. We've got Milwaukee at Colorado. And the uh, LA Angels at Oakland. San Diego at Arizona. Houston at Seattle. And San Fran versus the Dodgers. So, you know what? I, there's 15 games on here, man. Um, oh, definitely yeah, a lot of home, yeah, a lot of homework to do. Everybody's 15, playing. 15 you know, games everybody's until everybody's Sunday. Playing. Yeah, 15 games until Sunday, man. So we'll get back to you guys, man. Well, um, you know, I'm going to do some homework and kind of break this stuff down and get back to you. But it is Friday. I am very happy that the weekend is starting, guys. And uh, Dream, what do we got for uh, what do we got for top uh, SBTV Nation uh, Freaky Friday photos? Kate? I am still right now. I am I am leaning I am leaning Cassano uh, with the two piece that we discussed. The two piece, and I am all, it, it, it's a it's a it's a mix between Cassano and it's a mix between the airport. Now my girl Vegas girl nine two six six one actually reposted the, the 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 airport girl again. Oh okay. So the airport girl got two times. I like Cassano with the two piece. He's got the girl in the red and the girl with the gray. Um and and I think it's between her and I think it's between the airport pick. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling the airport yeah. one as well. Uh, how, how come I can't find some of these? I mean, I'm, I'm. I guess there's so many of them that when I <laughs> when I put in SCTV Nation, because I see like the ones that were tweeted out in the last two minutes, you know, and then they all and tweets. I, see, I, I, I see. I oh, all tweets. That's what it. Is. Okay. Yeah. All right. That that that's the trick. All tweets. I'm looking at top tweets. Oh, there we go. All right, there's a ton of them. Oh wow, I missed a lot of pictures here. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Jay oh, Caston, Jay Caston, Vegas girl, uh, hit the same girl at the airport. Um, he, he, I got, I got to give Jay Cast the, 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 he hit it first though, Vegas girl. You know, I love you, baby. But Jay Caston put her out first, <laughs> so it's probably a mix between her and the one on, um, the one Cassano has. All right, let's see. Let me, let me just see. I got to see this. Dream, what about cat. the one on the uh, police car? I saw that. And just the, the NYPD police car just absolutely ruins that pick, period. It does. <laughs> she looks like she's about to get arrested for prostitution. Or <laughs> shot. Be real. Or, or shot 30 times. <laughs> yeah. Or you could probably well, ask her. Well, well she's, not, she's not black, so she might not get shot 30 times. <laughs> <laughs> and she... She, she looks like she just blew two cops in New York and she's about to walk, she's about to walk away scot free. That's what that picture is. That's what that sucks is saying. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's see. Uh, yeah, man. So um, we're we're down to those couple, and I like Irvin's too. The one painting on the on the um. Yeah, it's on the, on the bathroom. Yeah. In yeah. the bathroom, that's something. A lot of I mean, a lot of these pictures of these girls look the same. You know, like you you, you see one ass, you see them all. You know, but the, 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 there's a lot of asses here. It's hard to judge. You know, you can't. You, when you got something good, it's hard to pick between. You know, you gotta like, yeah, I would, I would, yeah, that's nice, yeah, that's nice, yeah, that's nice. I don't see, I don't see anything that's, you know, uh, this one's not bad. Oh, <laughs> did you see Vegas Girls uh, with the red dream? The one yes, that's I the, did. Oh, that one's that one's dope too. All right, so we got to narrow it down to three. Let's narrow it down to three and um and pick a pick a winner here, man. So. Dream, you've been—I'm oh, really? uh, sure you've been looking at it during all the baseball talk. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't he be? I mean, come on! Who wants to hear us talking about the friggin' uh, the, the the Texas Rangers and <laughs> the New York Mets? That's about it. That, those, those, you know, I'd rather look at ass too. So, I'm gonna uh, yeah. I'm gonna lean I'm gonna lean Jay Cass in the airport girl. Yeah, I like the airport. Jay like- Cass. No doubt. All Let's right. Go. Jay Cass uh, is the all winner. right. I, I agree with you, Dream. The airport is so sexy, and it's like you know what? Sometimes, sometimes you know, um, as far as clothing is concerned, sometimes you know, sometimes less isn't always better. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a clothes. You listen. I'm a clothes on guy for like you know like to get this to get it started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We spent extensive, expensive time just with the clothes on, hang, you know, hanging out, dancing. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. All the pregame work. Spray the, spray the champagne on her. You know what I'm saying? I'm oh, all Jay J- J- Cass had a couple. Jay Cass had a couple of good ones here, man. And, and I'm all about leaving the shoes on. 
and yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. that's a big, big, big thing. The, the, leave, leave the shoes on, leave the pantyhose and the stockings on. <laughs> Everything <laughs> else can come off. Yeah, yeah, no yeah, doubt. No and leave doubt. the lips closed. All right. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> Damn, you're crazy, CB. No, no, you can open those. Actually, you can open those up, CB. Yeah, you can. You can. Actually, you don't got to leave those clothes, baby. Oh, man. Anyway, um, just stop stop talking. Stop complaining. Yeah, I meant meant, to leave the lips closed to to stop complaining. These women usually complain. Nah. Yeah, Um, nah, nah. All right. Uh, I think, dude, I think the airport is the sexiest one. I'm ready to run with the airport. I did like the air. This, guys, I like a lot of the stuff out there. So, you know, nobody catch feelings. I didn't pick your stuff. The, 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 the girl, was, you're talking about with the girl with her hands up between the two yes, doors of the place? Yes. 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 Yeah. Not, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, <laughs> she's got. You can actually see through that shirt. Yeah, a little black bra. On. So do we. So do we have a winner, CB? What do you think? I would go with Jay Cat. I would go with either one of his. We either all three of the on on his page. These three, well, all these pics of his are good. Even the girl with just the white T-shirt on is good with the blue with the purple panties. That one is just as good. That's the actual girl in the airport with less clothes on. That's oh, what it looks like. Nice. If you look at his, if you look at his other tweet on his page right above that, it looks like the girl went home and then just put on a little shirt and purple panties so jay cast is the winner all right all right guys <laughs> jay cast is the winner. all right so uh we <laughs> have a winner man we have uh mr jay cast congratulations not only is he tearing up the soccer but he's tearing up the freaky friday so he is the winner we will post that for you brother and um guys follow my man jay cast out there and um what is his uh twitter handle again let me find it it's your name jay cast 0719 at jcast0719 on Twitter. Make sure you follow him, and uh, you you know, not only going to get some. He's um, got the Cardinals logo going. He's got the Cardinals logo going. He's got the tiger on his header, on his, on his, on his cage. You'll you'll see it. He's New York slash iPhone. All right, perfect. perfect. <laughs> jcast7019. Follow him. All right, beautiful guys. All right, so uh, CB. Thank you very much for coming on, man. You got anything to plug? I, I mean, dude, you're you're coming up on 900 episodes of your show on Sunday, bro. Oh, it's ridiculous, man. I never thought I would do 900 nights in a row. I, I never. CB, to, I just want to just ref, refute your eye for a second. I don't think that's the same girl. Only because if you look at her hair, it's brown in the in the picture where her where her arms are up, and the, the other girl's hair is dark black. Um, in, in the other picture And it looks like the other girl with the panties and the white Looks like her chest is, is Slightly larger I'll look into that when the show ends <laughs> <laughs> Yeah man this yeah, is, yeah, uh, do, do It's a, a lot per- to Do a personal I got, I, got a good eye for, I got a good eye for that type of stuff <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she had a, a boob job And she dyed her hair Who knows <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, maybe, Who knows what happened uh, definitely. Know, maybe she was illegally trying to get something In the country That's why she got her hands up in the airport And then she went home She said I gotta change identity Got a breast job and dyed her hair who the hell knows? <laughs> Cool deal <laughs> All right, guys. I got to get out of here today. Uh, let's see. Let's um. Let's keep it moving, CB. So, uh, thank you very much for coming on once again, dude. Um, awesome. I appreciate. Awesome it. I love energy. you guys, man. Both of you, Dream and Hatter. I appreciate you always having me on the show. Whenever you do, keep continuing doing what you're doing. Forget about all the haters out there. They love you just as much as the people, just as much as the fans. They listen just as much as the fans. Yeah. People that hate, they're all listening right now. Take you to the face one time for hating. I'm sure you'll, you know, I'm sure you'll get bitch slapped by your girls later, or you know, kicked out of your houses by your moms and be sleeping on a park bench in a few weeks, so you won't be able to listen to the show. But when you do go to the public library and click on play, listen up again and let them tell us talk shit about you again. So keep ripping us, keep talking shit, and keep listening. You're a bunch of bitches. I'm out. Have a great day wherever you are. <laughs> All right, man. Have a good ACB. Have a great, great day, man. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. All right. Take Thanks, care. Player. Take care. Yeah, I'm out. All right, Dream. Uh, wow, he, he's a riot, huh? Hey, you know what? It's funny that Jake asked one this week because I meant to say that a, about 
Two weeks ago, he had posted that girl in the gray. She had a gray dress on with glasses. She's stupid. I don't know if that if that picture is photoshopped, but that picture was also stupid. And I never got to comment on that. Um, the, there's a girl he's got with a gray dress on. The, the glasses they don't fit her face. I don't know why she's got that on. But if you look at his the picture on his page if you go to his web his, his twitter handle and look at the picture on his page that girl i meant to give a big mention about her because her her dimensions are crazy <laughs> dimensions <laughs> i love it wow man guys i'm gonna have uh listen it, it this 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 will be continued man i'm gonna I have some fun to do man i gotta take a look through all this stuff uh later on today <laughs> <laughs> It was all fun. I loved it, obviously. Um, my man, Jay Cass, got it today. Um, I, I love the pictures. Guys, got to thank everybody for all of the love. I mean, Jesus, man. You guys went crazy today. Again. Yes. Um, CB absolutely ripped it. Loved him. Obviously, like we always do, his information is stellar, of course. Um, Want to just thank everybody who retweeted the show. We got 68 retweets today. Really quick, it'd be easy is out there. Uh, Joseph Del Rosario, thank you. G Rose, thank you. 55 to 150. Vinny, Vin, Frank and Colada. Turtle in the House is out there. Vin Strickland, Wildcat 83, Christos, Get a Vape. Spooky, Nick Bertucci, winning picks, Smokey Rodriguez, get into a check, Marlon, Razor Ramon, Ed, Live Life Now is out there, Fake Fam is out there, Jeff Ryan, C, C. Rodriguez Jr., thank you, brother, Yippa82, what's going on, play a Buster Car, I see you as well, Jason Riley's out there, the kid at the kid picks, my boy, uh, Snoopy Betts, uh, kid picks, by the way, you owe me a check, I think we said your name like five times today, so <laughs> that would be $500, Swing Cat Sides, Vegas Girl 92661, Rick Lopez, Rick uh, James Harrelson, as well, my boy Ryan Dog, Nine Horse Hayden, Crush the Bookie, Cousin Bet, Jay Snyder, 100 Bets, my man Zay, SBTV for Life, Notorious Dub V, Clown Man Swag, Sylvia, Total Sports, Edge, Sir Mata, JC, First Lady of the Fake Fam, Sports Shark, J Cass, Wheat, Money, Money Line Hunter, Cousin P, Mitch, Holiday, the First Lady of the Fake Fam, Postal P, P for Press, Jordy Best, Urban. Larry Jackal, Papa Bear, Lou Dog, Soccer's Finest, Tip Talker, Direct Sports Solution, Benjamin Rowe, Sirot King J, and Nicholas J. Guys, thank you all for retweeting the show. Thank you for all the picks. The lovely ladies, we love Freaky Friday. Thanks to Jay Cass winning today. Thank you to Crush the Bookie. I am the dream. I won't be back till Monday, y'all, but I'll be back and forth with you on Twitter a bit. Always remember who you went. Make the most of each and every day. Enjoy your Father's Day. Don't let your fam play you. <laughs> Make the most of each and every day because you can't get this tie back. Yes, hey. sir. Yes, sir. Guys, I'm going to do a little bit more homework on these uh, games and on Freaky Fridays as well because I got to I gotta get caught up here. There's just so much that came in. But, guys, we love you to death. Go out there. Go easy. Do your own homework. Bet your own plays and get that money. See you tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Peace.